We're here with another member highlight, and this one focuses on the city, the public health portion of the city. I'm here with Tom Williams, and he teaches a course as a health inspector called Serve Safe. And I understand that that is a course that people in the food industry have to take. Could you describe a little bit of what it's all about? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a food safety certification course um, that uh, folks in the food service industry um, take, uh, teaches all about um, proper food handling, food safety and such. Um, how often does somebody have to do this? There's a certification that comes with it, right? Yep. Um, you get certified. It lasts for five years. Um, it's uh, required by the um, state of Maine in the food code right now. Um, each establishment needs to have a certified food protection manager. At least one. Yes, at least one but more during than all hours of operation. Yep. yep. And uh, the Serve Safe course um, covers that. And what kind of topics do you cover in the, in the, it sounds like a pretty important course. Yeah, the, um, the course covers everything from um, purchasing, receiving, storage, um, cooking, cooling, um, everything all the way up to serving. Um, now you're a health inspector, right? Yes. So you, aside from teaching this course, you actually go into the restaurants and inspect. That's right. And, and you then look for the kinds of things that you teach in this course for people to do. You know, what, what's your experience? Is it, is it a really effective course? Do people really take it seriously when they go out and apply this stuff? Yeah, definitely. Um, people who have taken the course definitely have more background knowledge. Um, and, you know, a, an inspection, a lot of the um, items that are covered in an inspection are directly related to courses uh, such as ServeSafe. What are some of the, the kinds of things that you run into in, in, in your job that, that are really important for restaurants or food handlers to remember? Um, proper, um, you know, cooking and cooling techniques, um, storage, um, time and temperature, um, abuse type things like that. I suppose a lot of times restaurants reuse food there shouldn't be any reason why if they have it there and and that is probably a big part because if it's not stored correctly it could be served with you know uh, damaged or with right. bacteria in it. Yep, of course will cover um, you know bacterial growth and foodborne illnesses, um, sources of contamination, um, when someone should um, be excluded from working or not um, basically, oh. everything that would uh, have to do with food safety, keeping food safe. Sounds like a pretty involved course. Now, when do people take the course and how long does it last? What kind of a time commitment is it? Um, the actual class mm -hmm. itself um, is uh, it's a day class, uh, 8.30 to 5. Mm -hmm. um, we're currently holding um, one class a month. Um, it's in the uh, ground floor of City Hall. How many people can take the course at one time? Um, it's, it's really unlimited. Um, you can have up to 35 um, attendees per um, proctor, um, but we have um, two proctors at the City of Portland. Um, what are some of the benefits of taking the, the course that you offer and how much does it cost? Um, yep, benefits uh, for the course that we offer are um, that it's local, you know, it's right here in the city, um, right at City Hall, so people don't have to travel out of town. Um, we do have um, free parking at the Elm Street parking garage. Bring you a ticket and we'll validate it. Um, the cost is kind of a benefit too, isn't it? It's one yep. that's pretty low cost. Yep, with the cheapest that there is right now. Um, doing it for $115, that's for the course and the exam. Um, others uh, nearby are, you know, 130 to 160. Um, you can also, you also have the option of taking just the exam for $80. Um, some people, maybe they've taken it before and they just need to recertify or they, they just do not have the time, uh, can show up at 3.30 and just take the exam. And what do they need if they're taking the course? What do they need to bring with them? Uh, yeah, when you, when you sign up, uh, you'll get the book mailed to you or you can pick it up at uh, City Hall. Um, and so, you know, ahead of time, just go over the book, um, familiar, familiarize yourself with the information in there. Um, some of it does require some memorization. Um, and, uh, you know, if people want more information, where do they go and, and who do they call if they want to sign up? Yeah, um, to f a registration form you can find on um, PortlandMaine.gov. Just go to the public um, health tab and the registration form's right there. Um, and there's probably a, f a telephone number right there that they can call. Yep, yep, call the telephone number. Great. Um, 
Well, it sounds like a great course that you're offering, and I'm glad that, you know, it, there's so many restaurants in Portland. It's a very important service that do so. Thanks for coming in Thank and you. talking about it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.